Tuesday's brazen display of firepower in West Hall Group V4 frightened the residents and damaged some of their properties. This has led to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force soliciting the assistance of the public to bring to justice those responsible for this act of lawlessness. According to the police, quote, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force is appealing to members of the public with information regarding this incident to contact the nearest police station. We continue to emphasize the significance of police and community partnerships in achieving a reduction in crime. As such, anonymous reporting will be facilitated to protect the identity of individuals who cooperate with law enforcement efforts. Unquote. The Minister for Health, Moses Shabatis, who is the parliamentary representative for the neighbouring constituency of VA4 North, says the current crime situation is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. Certainly, no society uh, should stand for that, whether you are government, whether you are business owner, or whether you are just freely using the beach or just enjoying your retirement. It really cannot be that a society um, should be held uh, hostage or, or should be under siege by, any, by anybody. Speaking ahead of Tuesday's sitting of Parliament, Minister Shambatis was questioned on the option of seeking outside assistance to get the situation under control. He says the Prime Minister will leave no lawful stone unturned in addressing the crime situation. The Prime Minister and any government will consider all legal avenues to ensure that we bring things, um, we bring calm and we bring peaceful resolution to, to the situation. Wednesday's press release from the Royal Salisha Police Force states that the two pursuing officers saw the two armed masked men suspected of carrying out the shooting spree. The officers ordered the masked men to stop and put down their weapons, but the suspects disregarded the officers' orders and ran into the Bruceville community. The police gave chase but were not able to apprehend the two armed masked men. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.